Hello and welcome to Heroes of Mind Magic 2, The Price of Loyalty. So what is The Price of Loyalty? Well, it is one expansion pack for Heroes of Mind Magic 2. What's new in it? Well, a few things. There are new artifacts, new adventure map objects, new campaigns, and one new building. But I won't go into that in too much detail right now, because I'll just talk about it as we go through the campaigns. I'm sure we'll find most of the things while doing the campaigns. So, without too much delay, let's just start a new campaign. Expansion campaign. Wait for things to load. <laughs> it's still at 55% cycle, so technically it's a bit slower than perhaps usual. There we go. And we have four campaigns. The titular Price of Loyalty, Wizard's Isle, Descendants, and Voyage Home. I will start at the bottom and go anti-clockwise. That's uh, very non-standard, but it actually makes sense given that Descendants is actually a sort of a prequel. So let's just start from that and see where we get. Also, these two are long campaigns, these two are short campaigns. And by short I mean really short, just a few scenarios. So, all in all, the price of loyalty is about the same length as the base game. So, Descendants, let's go. Many generations ago, before this kingdom came to power, the land was the battleground for a handful of warring tribes. The barbarian Jarconus, first of a long line of rulers, had a vision to conquer and unify the tribes. Are we playing Heroes of Mind Magic 2 The Price of Loyalty? Or are we back at Heroes Chronicles Warlords of the Wasteland? Hmm. Well, this might really be the inspiration for Heroes Chronicles. So, Barbarians, Descendants, Conquer and Unify. Conquer and unite all the enemy tribes. Don't lose the hero Yarkonas. Or Yarkonas. The forefather of all descendants. And we get the choice between 1000 gold, 50 wood, and 10 crystal. That's a lot of wood. But then I don't think you really need that much wood. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Still, I mean, 50 wood, that is a lot. I might as well try that anyway. Yeah, 80 wood, wow. And already we can see new adventure map objects. Hut of the Mage. You can probably tell what that does from what we've seen in Heroes Chronicles. And there's an Aqua Barrier. That's actually a name for uh, Border Gates. So this is the first game, in fact, where Border Gates are introduced. Which is actually pretty good, because that means quite a lot more interesting gameplay. One thing that I didn't like all that much about the first game was that it's campaign was pretty much just a bunch of regular multiplayer levels. Whereas the second game, it's a bit better, but it's still mostly just multiplayer levels, and now we're starting to get something that really is interesting. And yes, we have Yarkonas, the Barbarian. So we do have new heroes too. Though, Generally, he is just a generic barbarian hero. Alright, um, mm -hmm. oh, we 
have a lot of gold. Okay, and we don't have a whole lot built just yet. Let's aim for the pyramid. Oh, so if we had chosen crystal, we would have enough crystal to build the pyramid of the bad, but I think Cyclopias require crystal too, so that wouldn't actually do a whole lot. And yes, Stichad and Adobe, well, statue really takes precedence, so whatever. And yes, we have another Barbarian, that's good. And yes, also, new music, because we're in Price of Loyalty now. This is the standard music that comes with the regular uh, Price of Loyalty, but the tracks are not really the best fitting. Even for the Barbarian Town, it's not super fitting. For others, it's worse. So I think they actually messed some things up as well once again. So I also have an arrangement of tracks that makes more sense for me, uh, but I will activate that after I'm done with one long campaign, this one, and the next short campaign. Now, do I need another hero? This is a very small map, so I'm thinking that maybe not. Um, yeah, let's start out just that way. Leadership is good. Scouting is good too, but not quite as important. Aqua Traveler Stand, and that's how we unlock the Aqua Barrier. That's the Keymaster Stand, basically. Uh-oh, a witch is hot. Well, that means I do want another hero. And while we're here, I might as well also purchase all the troops. There. Now it's a pretty decent army, too. And we get gems. Oh, that's a lot of everything. Lots of centaurs. I should probably just take them out. Okay. Well, also... Really, I don't remember what scheme I used. It was something like... Call campaign no, one uh, something something scenario one and stuff, but that's way too long. So let's just start with Paul A and yeah, <laughs> I'll look at the proper naming scheme later. So far, so good. Uh, now, lots of centaurs. I think I can beat this guy. Also, the Major's Hut would be useful at some point. But not right now. So, let's just try and attack the centaurs. Thankfully, orcs are very durable. Nice. Oh, come on. Well, 
sounds good enough. Okay. Um, hmm, hmm. Let's go look at the hut of the major. Meanwhile, you can take everything from there. here? That's a bit strange. But yes, build more stuff. I need as many troops as I can. Enter a rickety hut and talk to the magician who, li who lives here. He tells you of places near and far which may aid you in your journeys. This is pretty much the same text as in the third game. But it doesn't actually show you things. And do bo 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 Oh, there's a town. And that town looks... Fairly nice to visit, and there's stables. It's the same sort of thing as in the third game. So you can see that a lot of elements in the third game originated from the expansion pack. Okay, now I want to pick up all the treasure chests. Good, I can actually <laughs> get out of here. Alright, so you can go take this. Ah, I don't have enough ore, but that's just great. And the well is going to be useful. So far it's only grass, so I don't think I need that. Archer, on the other hand, I can definitely use. Same thing. Diplomacy is useful. Useless. No, so don't take that. Scouting. Okay, that's fairly good. Also use some troops from here. I should probably do that. Oh, I'm out of war again. Hmm. Alright, fine. Also not super useful, but hey. Eh. 
Ooh, logistics. Yes, please. Okay, now I can use my hero to resupply, because that stays on. So you can go here too. But first... Hmm, trolls. What's the speed of everyone? Average, very slow, average, very fast. So basically, I want trolls, and I want a few wolves. And that's good enough. Oh, lots of wolves. Okay, well, in the meanwhile, you can go here. A magical aqua barrier stands tall before you, blocking your way. Runes on the arch speak. Read, speak the key and you may pass. Uh... Friend? You speak and nothing happens. Enter the tent and see an old woman gazing into a magic gem. She looks up and says, In my travels I have learned much in the way of arcane magic. A great oracle taught me his skill. I have the answer you seek. The aqua keyword is berserk. Hmm. Okay. Berserk. 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 As you speak the magic word, the glowing barrier dissolves into nothingness. So yeah, it's uh, not quite like the Keymaster Stands, but the Keymaster Stands are based on this password sort of thing. You have to enter the actual thing in order for it to work. Okay, well, the orcs can uh, can stay there. <laughs> and let's see, one bless. I have a spell power of one. Eh. Oh, well, I got enough out of that. I have attack 5 and defense 3, that's not bad. Ouch. Yeah, you do that. Okay. That's decent. Now to take over this town. But also take the crystal mine. Because I can make use of some more crystals. Start upgrading. Oh, and I can 
get to this gazebo. Basic mysticism. Um, I suppose. Oh. Not quite close enough. right now, but I think that's okay. Maybe. Hmm. works. Okay, we can build up this town. That's interesting, because it's... Technically... A wizard town. That also echoes a bit... The... Uh, Heroes Chronicles Warlords of the Wasteland because it's a bit like Bracadoon in that sense. That is interesting indeed. Okay, well first of all, day four, so I have plenty of time. Let's take this. Oh. So it's two knights. And only one barbarian. Huh. And we have a blue bear here. Hmm. Pack of elves there. Several minotaurs over there. Pack of wolves there. I think I want to take over this town first. Yeah. And use this hero for resupply. And I don't think I want to build up this town. It's... Not a whole lot, and yet everyone would attack it. So I'll just leave it as it is. Oh. Hmm. 
Well, aren't you something? Somewhat useful. Now then, I can already go here. And I can go here. And do this. Yeah, nice. Hmm. This guy is somewhat strong. Not only power one, though. Yes. Please do that. Okay, how about you get blessed and take down these guys? Hmm. They're very slow, so stand a bit further back. There. Oh, that's the distance. Cool, now can I take over this town? It's day five. thousand gold and now I have enough ore so I need to save a bit for the pyramid especially the ore This will go fairly well. Hmm, I even have enough spell points to plus. So nobody gets hurt. And Blue Player has been vanquished, so a good start. I do have a magic guild, so I can regain all my spell points. And I can build a bridge. Huh, but that will cost me all the ore. But 
that would be useful. Because everything else is slow. So there's a horde of halflings. Hmm. Do they have a statue? Video, good. Yeah. I guess I need it right now, so. Just build it anyway. Now, with this hero, I can take over all the other things here. These guys are a bit dangerous, but hopefully not too much. Maybe they'll find something else to do in the meanwhile. Okay, so that will be all for this first video of The Price of Loyalty, and see you all next time as we continue this. Later.